way, we seem to be at another pub. Is there a pattern here? Well, it's certainly telling us something important about the town and why it's so important. I suppose Monmouth has always been hospitable to visitors, traders, tourists, invading armies. They all need food and drink and somewhere to sleep. I, I suppose this is how a medieval borough gets going. Yeah, and even before that, there would have been a settlement around the Roman fort and there must have been alehouses for the off-duty troops. This is later, though. Now, the front looks 18th century, but there is an earlier building behind, isn't there? Yes, and until the Beaufort Arms was built, this was Monmouth's most important inn, we think. So, do we know why it was called the King's Head? Well, apparently, Charles I stayed here in 1645. He was on the way to Raglan Castle. And there's this wonderful overmarket here, which shows Charles I, or maybe Charles II, his son. Uh, it shows a Charles anyway. Well, yes, hard, hard to tell from that one, really. And of course, there's this lovely ceiling plaster as well. I mean, this is really quite a posh yes, place, this isn't is posh, it? posh, indeed. Was it a coaching inn? It was indeed. There are lots of clues here to all sorts of things. Uh, there's the Shire Hall in the background again. But the main thing is, here we've got a big inn on the main road. And this was once the main road from St David's, South Wales, to London, by way of places like Gloucester and Oxford. But the roads were pretty dreadful in those days, they weren't were. they? How long did it take? Well, it could take up to five days. But when the turnpikes came in, that was improved, and then you could just about do it in a day. So Monmouth really is a hub for communications. Absolutely true. And of course it changes again with the railways. So what happens to places like this when the railways come in? Well, if we go to our next stop, the Beaufort, uh, we'll see. Okay, let's do that.